In today's how to do, we will be showing you some tips and tricks that will help you to achieve a beautiful arch and strengthen your feet. These are the exercises that we found very useful throughout our career and we want to share them with you. Hello guys! Welcome back to our channel. My name is Carolina Baistis. My name is Ariel Mercury and we are both professional ballet dancers with Bavarian State Ballet. As we mentioned before, today we will be working with our feet and to execute these exercises you will need these accessories. The Terabond, a massage ball, can be a bigger one, and the last accessory, just a Pilates ball. <laughs> I think now it's time to start. But before, for all of you who are new here, we make ballet videos, vlogs about our lifestyle and interviews with people from the ballet world, which they'll be sharing their story, motivating and inspiring all of us. Let's start, you guys. Before doing these exercises, we prefer to articulate and slowly warm up our feet. We will be rolling our feet out with a golf and a massage ball. There might be spots where you feel more tension and you should be giving more attention to those. As the golf ball is quite hard, we wouldn't recommend you to put so much weight on it because you could hurt yourself. But as the massage ball is softer, you can put more weight on it. Let's articulate and warm up our ankles. Put your foot in demi point and gently start circling around. Do this exercise 10 to 15 times. Remember guys, it's just a warm up. In this exercise, I'll start warming up gently my ankles and toes. I'll start flex, going through the midpoint, point, and come back. Right now we need to use the Terraband. This is a basic exercise that most of the dancers know it and it has a lot of benefits. It will help you a lot to improve and work on the muscles underneath your foot, strengthening the toes, the ankles and of course it's gonna give you a better shape of your foot. I will wrap the Theraband around my foot, making sure it's covering the metatarso. Starting position of the foot is in flex. The first movement I do is to stretch first my arch, then I slowly stretch my toes until my maximum. Then I go back in the flex position, but I resist going up first with my toes and after with my arch. Careful to keep a straight line from your knee to your toes and don't go underdone with your foot breaking your beautiful line. This exercise is very similar to the first one. Right now you'd be asking them why we have to do both of them. We have to do both of them because in this one we are focusing more on strengthening our toes and the muscles underneath our foot. Having strong toes is very important, it will help you a lot on your jump. You're gonna have a smoother landing and also more energetic takeover. You're gonna have a better line of your leg and also it will prevent a lot of injuries. Thank you. 
For this exercise, we're gonna need a Pilates ball. <laughs> Place the center of your foot in the middle of the ball. The movement starts by pushing down the toes and keeping them straight, as I am doing right now. The leg must be aligned and stretched. Be careful to not shorten up your toes. This exercise is great to strengthen the toes and automatically have a better shape of the foot. It will also help you for point work. You can do this exercise 10 to 15 times each foot. This exercise is very good to improve and strengthen the outside part of the muscles in your calf, in your foot, and also it will help you a lot to have a better line in arabesque, tendu, or in every position that you stretch your foot. Even when you jump, if you sit to the side, some dancers, they go like this, they stretch like this, so it is very important to have a very nice line. I think it's normal sometimes because we think about stretching our foot so much that it actually it tends to go a little bit underdone. So that's why you have to have a really strong outside muscles on the foot and on the calf. Of course, it's very important as you said to stretch your foot at your maximum, but also every time we have to be careful about our lines because our profession it's very visual. visual. As you can see we're at home right now, so we don't have a bar. We can use a table, <laughs> the leg of the table, to go around with the teraband around. I will show you. and you calculate how much you need. Great, let's start. So we're gonna place the Theraband in this position. You're not gonna cover the whole foot. You stretch the knee, stretch the foot, but the toes, you leave them free. And it's very important to keep the same line from your knee to the toes. Now we're gonna start going to the outside of your foot. You don't need to overdo it. You just go a little bit and then go back to the beginning position. Be careful to not do like this and this, like this, no. You go outside and beginning position. It's just a really small movement. So let's do this 10 times. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, very good, eight, you can do it, <laughs> nine, come on, come on, ten, amazing, very good. Feel already feel like working you? a lot, yeah. If you feel it working here, that's a very good sign, it means that the muscles are working. Now I will be stretching Carolina's foot with my hands. First thing that I do is to put the palms of my hands on Carolina's metatarsal. Then I start pushing down very slowly. It is very important to be careful in this exercise, to do it safely and to feel no pain in your Achilles or tendons. This exercise might seem complicated, but it is not guys, don't worry. Let's start by sitting on the floor with the knees up. Take the left foot and put above the right knee. Then we should cross the left arm in between the legs and then put the palm of the left hand on top of the metatarso of the left foot. We take the right hand and put on top of the left hand. After that we will be pushing our metatarso in the stretching position. Don't put so much pressure on it guys, but just do it gently and slowly. I've been doing this for many years and it helped me a lot to achieve a better arch. That was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If you have any question, don't hesitate to leave your comment below and please let us know what would you like to see in our next videos. And also don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe and activate the bell to get the notification every time we share a video. We're gonna see each other very soon.